So now let's look at how to work with character styles inside of Adobe InCopy. So to do that, I'm just going to go around over here onto Windows and then I'm going to go around into styles right here. Then from styles, I'm going to go to character styles. So once I go on character styles, you can see that a dialog box opens up where I can define character styles. So I can simply select this uh, character right over here. So I can simply select a range like this and click on this plus button. So here I have a character style. So in order to change the character style, simply right click and go on into edit character style and you uh, will have dialog box where you can add in different character styles. Let's say for example, you can go to format and choose something like a font. You can also enable preview and you can see right here that it actually changes out the style for you just like that. The only the selected text changes out. You can go on to font style. So you can go for something like narrow. You can increase out the size as well, just like this. And the size has been applied. You can also work around with the tracking and increase that out as well. So once you go around, you can work around with underline and so forth as well. Then you can go to advanced character styles, like you can work around with horizontal scales and language as well. There's also character colors, so you can go and select around color as per you wish and you have open type features and that you got un underlining options right over here where you can work around with weight and everything and you can work around with those as well that's like strike through option and export typing as well so i'm just going to go around and underline it just like this so uh just like that what i'm going to do is just stick on the underline and then have the underline. You can also choose different sort of underlining styles as you can see right over here. So I'm just going to go for solid and keep it up to two points. And maybe I want to change out the offset as well, just like this. So once I do that, I'm going to press OK. I can also rename the character style if I want to. And you can see right here that this has been applied. You can also have multiple character styles. So I'm just going to select this, add in a new character style that is character style 2. So I'm just going to say character to to tube right over here. And I'm going to go around into font family, just change that into Arial. So I got two character styles, as you can see. So if I were to go over here and select this out character style, nothing changes. You have to select out what you want to change and then select, select character style one and character style two, and that gets applied. In the previous lesson, we uh, took a look at paragraph style. So if you haven't taken a look, um, uh, taken a look at that already, then you might want to uh, look at that as well before following on to the further procedure that I'm going to show. So what happens is that paragraph styles are overridden by character styles in, in copy. So if I were to go over here on to paragraph styles, which we made in the last lesson, if I were to select this and select paragraph style one, you can see that paragraph style is added. But if I were to select this out and choose character style, you can see that that has been overridden by the character style. So paragraph style uh, just like this, what happens is that paragraph styles are overridden by the character style. So uh, you can see that uh, the font scenes in this section, but not the color because we didn't define a color for our second character style. But for character style one, you can see that the color changes out as well. So that is how you can work around with character styles. And that's how character styles override the paragraph styles in Adobe in copy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.